There's no one who wants this thing over more than I do. You know, I'd like my life back. Crisis managers cringed when they heard that comment. For nearly seven weeks, BP has given America toxic waste. Now, in a new television commercial, CEO Tony Hayward is offering atonement. To those affected in your families, I'm deeply sorry. And I'm looking at the chairman of BP. Not a few residents of the Gulf think Hayward's apology is just pollution by another name. If you care, stop the oil from coming into our estuaries. If you care. I don't think you do care. I think you care about your image. You don't care about us. Almost from the moment on April 20th that oil began fouling the Gulf, BP seemed to view the disaster through rose-colored glasses. The company's estimates of how much oil was spilling were consistently low. Their vows to stop it aggressively optimistic. Big mistake, says crisis consultant Mike Paul. Don't say that you have a solution today because you don't. Don't say that you have people on the ground and they're feeling the same pain, because they're not. Hour after hour, 24 hours a day, oil poured into the sea. Yet day upon day, BP seemed oblivious to the catastrophe it was causing. May 13th, Chairman Tony Hayward speaking to The Guardian newspaper. The Gulf of Mexico is a very big ocean. The volume of oil and dispersant we're putting into it is tiny in relation to the total water volume. Five days later, Hayward again to Britain's Sky News. I think the environmental impact of this disaster is likely to be very modest. And a week ago, this. There's no one who wants this thing over more than I do. You know, I'd like my life back. Crisis managers cringed when they heard that comment. I think it was uh, uh, beyond inconsiderate. It was insensitive and certainly out of, uh, it, it showed that he was out of touch, or at least it, he's apparently out of touch with the situation by choosing words like that. Hayward apologized, but neither his apologies nor his commercials are winning hearts and minds on the Gulf Coast. Stopping the oil is the only way to do that. Tony Guida, CBS News, New York.